player feedback. When should you get it? Okay, that's the topic of this very quick video. When should you get it? Right from the very start and on a weekly basis as you move forward. All the time. All the time. You know what? I've lost track now and it frustrates me. This is one of those things that's like, ah, it makes me so mad. Because I see people that are working on their game in isolation. This is kind of cool, this is kind of cool. And you forget what is interesting. Because you spend so much time like trying to code up this feature. I'm trying to get my guy to jump. I'm trying to get my the bullets to hit correctly and hit the you know the bullets shoot and then they explode. Oh my god, this is the greatest thing ever. The bullets now explode. But people don't care about exploding bullets the way you do. They don't understand the blood, sweat, and tears that went into exploding bullets or the triple jump you're so proud of. They want to know, what, what do I get out of this? There's a thousand games I could be playing right now. Why play yours? So what I see all the time, I want you guys to listen to this all the time with indies, new indies, and experienced indies, people who are making their own games, is they don't get player feedback. And two things happen. One is their game becomes kind of pigeonholed into something that isn't what people want it to be. And so when, when, when the app's release, when the game's release, when it's pushed out there on Steam or the App Store or console or, or when you talk to publishers, the response is, ah, da. And you need to, <laughs> what does that even mean, Rick? <laughs> it's a dinosaur singing. Ah. If you're getting that response when you've been working on a project for a week, you can change, you can alter, you can build, you can expand. You've got plenty of time. If you've been working on it for six months and you get people like, ah, yeah. Well, nice explosions with your bullets. Would you would you pay for it? No. You know, you're asking your friends. They're going to be like, oh, man, this is the greatest thing ever. You can't just ask your friends, right? Because they want you to move forward, so they're going to pump you up. They're going to be like, this is great. So you need to be asking a variety of people right from the start, right from your concept. So a game that I really i am digging at the moment because it's doing well and it's such a simple-ass game is Rocket League. Go check out Rocket League. It's basically, I can see at the concept level... I can see how they were pitching it to people. It's soccer, or football, depending on where you're from. We'll call it football for now. It's football with cars. Football with cars. And when you say that to people, they're like, that sounds cool. Doesn't it, though? Football with cars. I haven't really seen that. I, I get cars. And, you know, cars, and you can level up your cars, and you have different skins for your cars, and different all this kind of good stuff. Oh, yeah, I, I've played enough racing games to know the coolness of having improved cars and different cars. Get that. And then, you know, everyone's played FIFA at some point. And, like, soccer's cool. And guess what? How many people around the world love soccer, love football? A lot. How many gamers around the world love car games? A lot. So it's like, okay... Merge that two together. That's a topic for another video in terms of merging two genres together, which I love as a way of designing great games. But for now, it's the concept. I'm sure they went out there like, okay, we're going to make a car game where it's cars where you shoot each other. It's like smash up derby. Like, ah, I've seen that before. It's been done. Okay, okay, okay. What else can we do instead? Uh, you know what? Football with cars. Cars playing football. And then the reaction they would have got was, that's cool, let's move forward. Get some concepts. What do you think about this? What do you think about that? 10 on 10? Nah, too many. 1 on 1? Not enough. Although they do have that mode. 3 on 3? That feels pretty good. This size arena? Yeah, that feels good. Cars moving fast, cars moving slow. Show it every week. What do you think about this? What do you think about that? How many cars do you want to choose from? What do you want to be able to do? Do you want to be going really fast? Do you want to be able to jump? Do you want to be able to do these things? Do you want to be able to attack as well? And you get your player feedback so that you're not wasting your time implementing a feature which people may not want or may not love or may not be interested in. Okay, so hopefully this is reaching you guys. I, I've felt really dumb because I tell people this so often and they don't listen. And then I see them a year down the road with a game that's failing or struggled or they put their life savings into building something and they haven't been checking. Is this something that people want? And I mentioned right at the start of the video two things. That's the first thing. The other thing is... The more you ask people, the more you show people, the more you connect with people, the easier it will be for you to see what your marketing hook will be. And you've got to do marketing, right? You've got to actually say, da, 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 here's my game. And if when you say the words, uh, cars playing football, people are like, yes. Or maybe football with cars, oh, not as good. Or maybe there's another way that they were positioning it. Or maybe it's multiplayer Maybe people want to hear the multiplayer part. Maybe they want to hear cross-platform. Maybe they want to hear 
uh, online. Maybe they want to hear leaderboards. Maybe they want to hear uh, demolition, which it doesn't really have. Maybe they want to hear... You, you don't know, and you don't want to be figuring that out when you're doing your big marketing push. You need to be talking to people over the, the weeks and months and years, hopefully not years, but weeks and months that you're making your game. So by the time you get there, you're like, we know without a shadow of a doubt, we're going to position this game as cars playing football, because that's what people love. Anyway, as always, hope this has been useful to you guys. I love hearing what you're up to. If you've got any games you're working on right now, put it in the, the comments below. Let us have a look. Get feedback from people. Make sure you're getting feedback for your game the whole way along. Thanks for watching.